Hello. It's time for a rocket cave run. An actual rocket cave run. Without any bugs. It's my second attempt at recording it. Because actually I had to go fix a bug. That broke the run. So... Uh, let's see... We can avoid that. So, the big bugs from last time that made the game, like, terrible... Is, uh... Don't do that, man. Is, uh... Rocks not falling. Which is terrible, because that's like half the game right there. And... Sometimes not getting XP, so I fixed... Both of those things. Oh, no. Okay. To my knowledge. See? I got a rock. I missed. And the XP thing, hopefully we just will never see again. And the big thing that was added okay, is actually quests. Quests actually do something now. So in the bottom left, that quest we completed, we can turn in. So we'll do that right here. So you have a little quest area right here. This is just how it looks now. It'll probably change later, but you know, it's I just put it in. These buttons are definitely gonna change. These are buttons here. The colors mean something, but they'll be changed with like an image. This should be a like a turn in, so it'll be a check mark maybe or a treasure chest. I don't know. So this would be a plus. This is where you can like add quests. So the idea is every time between levels, you'll get two quests you can choose. And you can have a max of three. So let's go ahead and turn these in. This one will give me five XP, ten gold, and one dice. Hopefully this will work. Okay, so I leveled up from that. It'll need some effects and some noises still, but basically it gave me some gold and a dice, and I leveled up. So it gave me another skill. So let's go ahead and just take both of these, because there's no reason we shouldn't. We could also remove the quest by clicking the red button, which will be an X later. Um, but they give a random range of XP and gold, and... Um, random amount of like a range of targets to kill like this is between like i don't know five four and seven enemies usually so we'll see how this works out it's, it was just put in and i don't know how balanced it is or some of these are impossible we'll see the take no damage ones actually um pretty i think that one would be cool but um I gave them rarities for appearing that are just like in the in the code. So there's more stuff to do now in your skill tree. So you can like reroll skills, look at stuff. So I could have rerolled something because I got a dice now. I'm trying to give more dice to the player. So we'll see what happens. And I'm not sure about giving the reward. I wanted I want to give the reward during the level almost because that would be cool. Like if you complete a quest here, like in this level, and then. You know, as you're about to die, you get the rewards and it saves you, or you get a bunch of gold and it triggers a bunch of gold skills, or I don't know, something more. I'm gonna add like some quest skills, where it's like once you complete a quest, trigger your skill or something like that. I have no idea, but um, we'll see how this run goes to get an idea of the quests. So as you can see, the take no damage is already completed. The way that one works is if you take damage, the the uh, it'll become incomplete, basically. That's how I'm going to do it right now. Oh boy, there goes that mine. Okay. There's a rock that's going to fall up ahead. I'm scared. We're okay. If that rock falls, it's gonna hit the mine. Yep. Okay. 
spider died. No XP for me, but I'm trying to get the no damage one. Oh, that was close. Okay, let's get some gold and then get out of here. And the other one was just kill six enemies, which is a pretty standard one. So I put a few different quest types in that we'll see. I think I put like six different types. Uh, this is glitch skill point. Okay. It's minus one. Oh, we can turn in the take no damage one, which gives. I made it give a lot of rewards because I figured it's going to be pretty hard to do. But if you get it in an early level, it'll be a good. It'll be lucky, basically. So. Kill six enemies, we get 16 gold and one dice. Yep, and then we're definitely gonna level up from this. So yeah, so the we're already getting a lot of levels because of these quests. So we'll see how balanced it is, and we'll always take all of them since it only gives two. It used to give three choices. I'm not sure, we'll see what happens. I think I'm just getting lucky with the quests because sometimes they're hard to do. Unlock one chest, that means I gotta use the key. That one's kinda difficult. So let's actually re-roll some stuff since we have so much dice. So let's re-roll these, I don't like them. And we got the same one that we just re-rolled. But we have a lot of gold, so let's do that. No. Yeah, that's a good one. And we'll keep their other stuff. The projectile getting larger is pretty fun. So we need to find the chest and unlock it. Okay. Oh, there's the chest. It's right there. But I don't even know if a key spawns. Oh my goodness. That was <laughs> crazy. So let's look for a key. You, sir. Oh yeah, so one thing I wanted to test is I removed... The uh, <laughs> the distance that this thing can break, so you can basically like crush anything with it, which I think makes it a little too strong. Which is why I put a distance thing on it, where like if you got, whoa, I almost hurt myself. Oh my god, that's kind of scary. <laughs> where uh, if it got too far from you, it would like detach, because I didn't want you just like running around with a rock like this because it seems kind of overpowered. Look at that. Just it's kind of fun though. But, I don't know. And I was thinking maybe keeping the distance on just for rocks, you know? Yeah, it seems a little too strong. I'll probably put the distance thing back on. And maybe just make it a little more forgiving. Oh, uh, just be the middle, middle grounds. Basically the idea is with the key because, uh, oh no. Somehow I didn't get hurt. I'm gonna take the chest. No, I'm not. I destroyed it. So I changed mana also. This stuff right here. Before, it's basically the meta upgrade, but I changed it so that it gives you all of your equipment charges back. It's not a, like all your skills at the bottom get max charges basically it's not a crazy change but it at least changes it from doing something to nothing this i was working on this menu obviously and this shouldn't say negative one so we're leveling up a lot let's go ahead and uh see what we get the rocket booster is good and collecting gold you shoot the turret that's cool one because we're collecting a lot of gold so let's Turn in our stuff. Just get some more gold. And get these. So here's another. Here's some new quests: mine ores and then kill two robots. So this is like a instead of killing two enemies, it's specific. It's like a bounty. So I basically had to make a list of enemies per per uh, biome, I guess, per area. We still haven't unlocked the chest. So this might be one we want to give up later. There's like a 3% chance for this one to spawn, by the way. So let's see. We want to upgrade anything. We have a lot of gold. Great roll. 
Yes, this is giving us a lot more dice than usual, which is cool. It's incentivizing re-rolling. Oh my god! I'm not using the charge duster. I'll try and use it a little bit. It's kind of cool. Didn't uh, do what I wanted though. So there's my whoa body from last turn on the left. Alright, so let's look around. Chest is there. Can we find a key? I just die. Okay, I'm hurting myself. I, you can use these guys to crush people too, which I think is kind of funny. Alright, well, no keys still. Whoa, I died with a lot of gold last time, huh? Oh, and I need to mine or. So let's get the chest. Let's try and take it with us like I was talking about last time. But I doubt that's gonna happen, because this guy's here. Yeah, he's... Oh no. Oh, we gotta get out of here. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's take the chest. Let's go. Oh yeah, yep. I need the health. Give me the health. Health's a big deal. Alright, now let's go. No more messing around. This is bad. This is bad. I'm messing up. Stand still. Okay. Okay, we made it. We made it. I was stressing a little bit there. Yes, you're falling behind on a quest, so. See, this easy one gives you a lot more than this rare one, so I might have to balance this to get more. I didn't balance the numbers too much. Uh, that didn't level me up. Okay. So I explode two enemies. I have way too much gold. Way too much. Kill five enemies for one dice. Wow. See, that's a bad one, which is good. Because you want to see bad ones. Uh, we have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of gold. But I don't know if everyone's going to do all the quests. Oh. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't. The quests... Most of them are pretty easy. So let's see if we can spend all our gold. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have many skills to uh, replace that, actually. Maybe instead of replacing, this should actually add. On kill percent change, if you go. Oh, well, this is the best one. And I don't even want the uh, sledgehammer. I haven't worked on the bosses too much since I've been adding the quests. Oh boy. Let's see if we can get a perfect though. Let me just do the tactic. Huh? Oh no. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, they're coming for me. I got him with the mace. He hurt me though. He hurt me. 
the spider egg out of here? Oh, it gave me a gem? Alright. Alright, I have uh, probably a lot of gold. This is what I thought having um, three quest options was bad because then it's like you have too many options at this point when you have three quests. So I thought two would be appropriate and one would be too little. But I do have a choice here. I do like getting XP. I have so much gold. So I, uh, there's nothing here really worth it. I mean, I guess instead of this, I can get the bounty, because that's worth a lot more gold. And let's upgrade some stuff. So we could... Thrusters is good. Um, what is this? More plasma pole. More chance on kill. You know what? That used up all the gold. That wasn't so bad. So maybe it's not given too much gold. Oh, wait a second. I got the rare gold vacuum. That's insane. It's just the passive version of the gold vacuum, so it's just permanent. Oh, no. This is going to be causing issues. I can tell. See those monkeys over there? Okay, I'm really done. There's the chest. That's all that's... Ooh. See, the gold vacuum, the passive one's pretty nice. I was thinking this would be like how the game is normally though, because picking up gold's kind of annoying. So having this would be nice. I mean, not as powerful as it is now though, just like a lesser version. No, B. Whoa, those guys got destroyed. I did that somehow. Down on purpose. Alright. Okay, okay. We do have the fire extinguisher. Oh, there's the key. Let's try it out. Haha. <laughs> oh. Bingo. So the gold I'm picking up is triggering my auto turret again. It's a pretty cool combo with the vacuum. It's actually one of the only synergies I've ever really seen in this game. That's one thing I'm trying to work on is adding skills that actually work together. Cool stuff. So more boosters. And we get the parachute. Maybe I should have upgraded something else. That's okay. I'm gonna get more gold. Go eight enemies and explode two enemies. Yeah. That's why I dropped that bomb with the slimes. I should have said that. And then the wrench, which I could lower the warm up. Having a little bit of warm up is kind of nice though. I think I'm gonna reroll this. Twice. Thrice. Why not? 
And then kill seven fireflies. I added like the weird enemies too for the specific bounties. Open a chest, that's easy. We still haven't unlocked a chest, but we do have a key now. So let's try it out. And let's increase this chance to because the gold trigger and the auto turrets are working pretty nice. Oh, there it is. You can't crush people with the key. Well, it looks like he's trying to run away. You can crush those guys, though. Did that count? As a firefly kill? No. Oh. It's, uh, messed up. Oh, I don't think it's gonna work for fireflies. Oh, boy. I forgot to add that. For fireflies. So this quest doesn't work. Yeah. It's the only quest that I think won't work. Here comes some rocks. Alright, well, there's the chest. I see it. I'm freaking out, though. Because of the monkey. Oh, my goodness. The key's getting in the way, kind of. No, but I could use it to block. No, monkey was riding the key, bro. This is... I'm terrified. Do you see this? Okay. Wow, X really done. Where's the chest? It's down there. Beautiful. Oh wow. Auto turret's triggering like crazy. Okay. Can we just complete two quests in a row? We completed uh, the open a quest chest. Oh, yep. Open a, open a chest quest. And, uh... No. And unlock the chest, which you need a key for. Yep, that's a lot of XP over there, which I'm interested in. Alright. A lot of XP. Gold keeps out triggering the auto turret, which is nice. We are destroying stuff. That red barrel over there is kind of scary. I think I can snipe him. No. Okay, not. Okay. Get the XP and get out of here. Please don't. Okay. Let's see what we got here. So we gotta get rid of the Firefly one. That is my bad. I'll be right back. Alright. I'm back. So we just got a few skills. Increase. Just have an increased chances upon. A die. A die. Where we roll that? <laughs> Collecting. This is a duplicate. Wow. So we can just have a 10% chance, well 12%, but you know, 1 in 10, it's pretty nice. Let's turn in this stuff first though. So we could, see why is the open the chest and unlock a chest? Oh, okay. I should put like numbers on these or something because the, these quests give you more rewards the further you go based on the area. It's basically multiplied, like the ranges get multiplied when it randomizes the numbers. So, I got, um, open a chest in the second area, so this should be like Pirate 2 or something. Pirate 2, and this should be King 1, so it tells you what area you got it in, so it tells you why. Because this one's easier to do than unlocking, so you would think this would give you more stuff than this, but since this one was found in the second area, the rewards are multiplied by 2, that's basically what I'm saying. So let's go ahead and turn this in. It didn't, uh, we still need a lot of XP to level up. The XP bar isn't updating properly, like the the actual bar itself isn't moving. That's fine. So burn two enemies. That one's pretty hard to do, and this is a lot of rewards. I haven't seen the second area one yet. I haven't tested it here yet. So you can get two dice, which is new. Take no damage, though. That's going to be difficult now that we're down here. So yeah, let's just upgrade this. We have a lot of gold now. Upgrade size of the plasma pool. Okay. 
Okay, so we're, we still have a lot of gold, but we are doing a lot of quests. We do have a lot of quests. So I think what I will do is put the gold vacuum passive in to like a very small extent. Because having to collect a lot of rocks to fall, I need one of these. I got one. That lantern fell on somebody. The chest is there. Is there a key though? My auto turret keeps triggering because of all the gold I'm getting. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Gold's make me fly. Neat. Oh, there's the key. Come at me, B. Can't handle it. They can't hang. See about making the key a little smaller. It's acting weird with physics stuff right now because I want to kill that. I didn't want the ball to take my kill. It's my XP. Okay. okay. Monkey? How'd you get up here? Oh, I think the gold made him fly? I don't even know. Alright. Okay. okay. Oh, that's cool. I still need to burn some enemies. That'll be easy with. Give me. I'm press the right button. Okay. Spare me. Thanks, slimes. Okay, it's going down. Yeah, the burn enemies one is pretty difficult. But I'll just do it next. Oh. I didn't take... <laughs> I did take damage, so yeah. Killed 10 enemies. The number scales too, with the... the theme, or the... That's what I call in the code, with the, uh, the biome. Kill four monkeys. My arch enemies. Yeah, look at all that XP. It gives you 19. 19, though, that's you know not so much when you need 68. I'm level 14, though. And it is connecting them, see? But it gets a little weird when it spaces them out. So I'm not sure what I'll do. What I'm going to do. I might remove this mechanic entirely, how they're connected, because it doesn't matter so much. We'll see. I'm taking damage. Chance to... No. That's a good one. Half damage from explosions. We haven't used the parachute or that at all. Okay. That as in the fire extinguisher. I'll do that next level. Hopefully. And enemies drop extra gold. Yeah, upgrade that. And we'll save everything else. I think we're going to get rid of take no damage. I, I don't think I can do that. I'm glad there's one that's too hard to do. Oh! oh there's the chest. There's stuff going on over there. They're having a party. Alright. Let's take a peek in here. How's it going, everybody? Money! Gold is doing things. Okay. There we go. It had two hearts. That's because the key always gives you a heart. Oh boy, monkey. Thanks. Okay. Check 
Chop's almost too big now. Let's... Oh yeah, that's because, uh... The key guarantees a heart now. But it doesn't... That doesn't, uh... Affect... How the chests normally spawn a heart. Which is them having, uh... I think a 25% chance. Yep, I just did that to myself. Vacuum is good. Appreciate it. That hurt. But only one of them really hurt me. Because I have like a damage cooldown. Oh, I gotta. I forgot. I gotta. I need the lanterns. I need to kill those monkeys. go. Alright, we gotta get through here and the thing's falling, so... Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Perfect place for an explosive. Oh my god. Give me the lantern. Did I get it? I'm hurting myself. I am hurting myself. I need to get out of here. I didn't get it though. I killed the monkey somehow. I must have touched that rock. Alright, we're kind of just chilling. The gold is trying to get to us. That was a lot of gold to the left. Wow, that was kind of scary. That's all we get for it, is the seismograph. I don't even know if I spelled that right. So we get some gold and a dice, and then we get some XP for those monkeys. We hunted monkeys. Will that level us up? No. Crush two enemies, take no damage. I mean, I may as well take it. And reroll the seismograph. Reroll that. Mm, I'll not worry about that. Okay. This one, plasma put one helps because I have two of them now. And now, I'm gonna reroll this. No, because so I could probably get something better. Oh, this is better. And we don't. We don't need gold. We have so much gold. I'm gonna reroll this. That's scary. No. That could be good, but... Yeah, we want... Yeah, we want more hearts. So we'll reroll that. Upgrade it. Oh, this is the boss. Huh? So... Wind doesn't affect you. I don't even have enough for it. Increase the of bomb drop. We may as well. I said, may as well, and replace it with the parachute, because we're not using that at all. Even though I said I would, just nope. Now we're gonna get crushed. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, sir. Alright, my plasma... This comes back really fast. We might be okay. Maybe. We gotta we gotta kite him over here a little bit. Come on, buddy. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't stand a chance. Oh, I died. He had two health left. My projectile bounced off him. And then hit him on the left, and it knocked him closer to me. That's scary. That's scary. That's something I'll write down, though. To make it, uh, check the direction he's going in. But, that was a pretty decent run. It didn't get ended by bugs. Just a 
little jank maybe. Um, but 